Welcome to this tutorial where we are gonna review how to configure a virtual Zebra printer and how to connect it to Dynamics 365. There are several virtual Zebra printers that are available on the internet. In this demonstration, we are gonna use a desktop application that is called the Virtual ZPL Printer and it has been developed by Daniel Pori. I'll navigate to GitHub to download the MSI files. You can find the URL in the video description. Scroll down, then here in latest release, you can download the MSI files. Before the installation and as a prerequisite, you should have the .NET package that could be downloaded and installed during the MSI installation. You should also have the Adobe Acrobat Reader that could be installed from Microsoft Store. Once the application is installed, then we have to configure a virtual Zebra printer on Windows. Here in Windows 11, I'm gonna search for printers and scanners. I'll click Add Device. And in order to define a new virtual printer manually, then I'll confirm here that the printer that I want is enlisted, then I'll click Add Manually. I'm gonna select this option add a local printer or network printer with manual settings, then click next. Here I'm gonna create a new port and the port type will be standard TCP IP port. Click next. Then here I'm gonna specify an IP address 127.0.0.1, then click next. I'll select custom next in the manufacturer I'll select generic and the printer will be generic text only then next here I'll select use the driver that is currently installed next then I'll give it a name like local ZPL printer next then here I don't like to share the printer so I'll select don't share this printer then next finish and here if I'll refresh this list here we can see our printer in order to link the virtual printer that we just defined with Dynamics 365 then we have to install and configure the document routing agent. I'll navigate to the organization administration module, then set up network printers, where we can download the document routing agent installer. Here, I'm gonna select the language like English United States. Then once the file is downloaded, I'm gonna start the installation process. Once we install the document routing agent, then we will have to specify dynamics if and all credentials. So here in the document routing agent, click sign in, then specify the dynamics 365 if and all URL and the Azure Active Directory tenant. Then click OK. Once you sign in, then we will have to specify the printers that will be used by the document routing agent. In this demonstration, we're gonna use the virtual ZPL printer that we just defined. Click here, printers, then select the printer, and after that, click register. Now, when I navigate to the network printers, I can see the local ZPL printer is listed, and what we have to do right now is to set the printer to active. I'll click edit, then here, I'm gonna select the printer, set active to yes, then click save. And now let's give it a try and print a label using the virtual ZPL printer. First of all, we should specify a label layout. 
Here we can see that we have several layouts that are available by default in the virtual ZPL printer. We can select one of them and we can also use the edit function in order to modify an existing layout or create or add new layout. So here we can use the add function in order to create new layout. After that, we should start the printer. Here we can see the status is idle. And once I start the printer here, we can see the status becoming listening. Now we are ready to print and validate the ZPL layout. I'll click test and here we can use one of the dummy ZPL code that are available in virtual ZPL printer. Here we can also select a label layout, then I'll click send. Here we can see the printed layout. Let's also give it a try and print an existing license plate in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. When it comes to print something from Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management, then first you should ensure that the document routing agent is started. Then after that, I'm going to use the warehouse management mobile application to reprint an existing license plate. So I'm going to use the reprint menu item. I'm going to reprint this license plate. I'll click OK. Then here we can see the printed license plate. 